the Red Sox made their deal with Lucas Giolito official yesterday. And as we talk about this addition for Craig Breslow as he tries to craft his own group, there is still a desperate need, despite the addition of a frontline starter, for a left-handed starting pitcher. On Boston's 40-man, as you look at Giolito's splits from the past couple years as compared to when he clicked as a White Sox, and bear in mind, he pitched last year for three different teams. No continuity for Lucas in terms of a home address. No continuity for him in terms of a pitching coach. These rotation options for next year do not include a left-handed starter, Harold. In fact, on their 40-man roster, there are only three left-handed, uh, four, four left-handed pitchers. They're all relievers, and none yep. of them are huge impact guys. So if you're Blake Snell, uh, if you're a another left-handed starter out there on the market, there's got to be an opportunity for you here. I mean, Jordan Montgomery would be a great fit there. I, I wrote Montgomery, and here's why. Not just left-handed, it's his release point. I mean, I'm going back 30 years now, hitting in Fenway Park. It has you, not changed. You're facing Bruce Hurst? Yes, uh -huh. it has not changed. You can't yeah. pick the ball up. Uh -huh. And if you look at any left-hander, whether it was James Paxson, whoever, when they were on with that high release point, you can't pick them up. Right field's big. Montgomery's right. perfect. It's a good place for a and, left And if hand. anybody would know that, you would think Breslow knows that. Sure. Being a left-handed pitcher, former left-hander, I should say, having pitched in that ballpark. I, I mean, those are the things I, I think when we get to analytics, we look at so many numbers, we don't look at things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would be asking every hitter, what are you not seeing out of a left-hander in Fenway? Mm -hmm. Well, a guy with a high release point. What about Chris Sell? Well, he's down here more. Mm -hmm. I can see it out of the monster. Yeah. What about a guy up here? All of a sudden, I can't pick up. Even Chris Young, being 6'11", right-hander. Coming out of his ear. You couldn't up. see him in Fenway yeah. Park. Yeah. There's something to that. And I think Giolito, for that same reason, he throws so upright. I think that's why Waka was tough to hit. I just think once you get above that wall, it's hard to see the ball. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, getting back to Giolito, and again, he famously redid his mechanics and, and, and went to that shorter arm path a few years ago, yeah. translated into big success. We talked about how he didn't have a lot of continuity to go with last year, pitching for three different teams. Yeah. Traded, and then he was a waiver claim at the end of the year. We thought it'd be interesting, and Keith Costas helped us with this list. Pitchers to start games with three different teams in a single season. We went back to 2009 for this. None of them fared well. I mean, in the case of, of Jaime Garcia and Dallas Keuchel, you're talking about high-level guys, right? Guys that had really had a lot of major league success. But when you start bouncing around on that caravan, it gets very hard to find any kind of consistency. The Red Sox hope that getting Lucas there with new pitching coach Andrew Bailey mm -hmm. from camp on yeah. can bring him back to his 2019 form as opposed to what happened for him the past few years, last year. You know, the one thing uh, we forget, too, and you can probably look this up with all kinds of players, that first move, Giolito comes up in an organization and he leaves it. Yeah. Man, that's like I got a whole different surrounding. Mm -hmm. I'm living in a different city. My team just scorned me. I'm, I'm, you go through <laughs> that. And so he goes there, and the next thing he moves again. So it's not just I can't find a rhythm with a pitching coach. Life happens too. Yeah. And so I think now he's had he's had, he's gone through the the shock of being traded and somebody saying I don't want you. Mm -hmm. That's shocking to everybody. So now he's got a winter to work, get his head right. I think he'll be alright. I think it's really it's even harder for pitchers too. Yeah. I, I really do. I think that continuity is so different. Working on a different mound, different group, different catcher, different set of circumstances.